and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. Chaos at the airports, 4,500 flights canceled worldwide now. The majority of the cancellations came from five airlines, with China Eastern forced to call off more than 1,200 journeys over the weekend, while Air China, United, Delta, JetBlue, and Lion Air have also reported large numbers of canceled flights. Blaming it on the staff shortages caused by the lightning spread of the new COVID-19 Omicron strain, global airlines have canceled over 4,500 domestic and international flights worldwide during the peak Christmas weekend. U.S. airports accounted for more than a quarter of all flight cancellations, with United Airlines and Delta Airlines being among the worst hit. According to the latest global data, 2,380 flights were called and another 11,163 delayed globally worldwide on Christmas Eve. There were 2,388 cancellations and 2,579 delays as of the Christmas Day afternoon. Another 747 flights scheduled for Sunday have been cancelled as well. The majority of the cancellations came from five airlines, with China Eastern forced to call off more than 1,200 journeys over the weekend. Meanwhile, Air China, United, Delta, JetBlue, and Lion Air have reported large numbers of cancelled flights. There were 688 flights cancelled across the U.S. on Friday, and another 980 have been cancelled so far over the peak travel weekend. German carrier Lufthansa said on Friday that it was canceling 12 transatlantic flights over the holiday period due to a massive rise in pilots calling in sick, and despite arranging for a large buffer of additional staff for the period. The last-minute travel chaos added to the frustration for passengers looking to celebrate with their families over the holidays after pandemic precautions severely impacted Christmas in 2020. According to figures released by the American Automobile Association earlier this month, airlines were expected to see an 184% increase in traffic between December 23 and January 2 from 2020. The U.S. Transportation Security Administration expected to screen nearly 30 million people between December 20 and January 3. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group. Or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.